In a News 10 follow-up now, a group of local Vietnam veterans continues working to raise money for the local Veterans Memorial Monument. For almost two months, the group has been trying to raise $20,000 to move the monument closer to the Veterans Plaza. Well, News 10's Brittany Earle sat down with one local man who's using his poetry to help make these veterans' dreams come true. I'm, I'm not a prolific writer. I have to be inspired by something. Dr. David Hay sees inspiration in all parts of his life through world events. He often takes trips to visit memorial sites, even traveling around the country to see many of the famous sites on U.S. soil. I saw men in uh, fatigues with uh, medals on their caps, leaning against the wall, their hand on a name, crying. The sights and sounds of the Vietnam Veterans Wall in Washington, D.C. inspired Dr. Hay to write one of his most famous poems ever. I couldn't sleep that night at the hotel after, uh, after what I'd seen at the memorial, so I got up in the middle of the night and I wrote the poem called The Wall. Homage paid in special ways, a rose, a note, a sigh, frustration wrought with anger that fate chose these to die. Once again, Dr. Hay is using his work to support another memorial. His famous poem, The Wall, is displayed on the Garfield High School Spirit webpage to inspire people to donate towards a similar cause. It's all part of an effort to move the Veterans Memorial Monument from one side of the Vigo County Courthouse to the other, uniting Vietnam War vets with other veterans. They're, they're needing the funding to, to complete this, and so anything that helps them out, why? I'm glad to be a part of. Using his passion for history and gift with words to help out those who should never be forgotten. In Terre Haute, a future world without the need of names upon a wall. Brittany Earl, News 10. As of now, the group has raised $18,000 for the monument. They plan to move the monument next week and continue to raise the rest of the money. If you would like to help, visit our website at WTHITV.com and find out how.